Hello there, this is Lynn Allen. I thought that I would share with you on my blog some of the new features inside of AutoCAD 2015. That's what we're looking at right here. So one of the first things that you notice when you see AutoCAD 2015 is that there's a lot of gray going on, right? That's right, AutoCAD 2015, one shade of gray. Why? Is that your question? Why? I'll tell you why. Because one of the things about us as AutoCAD users is that we tend to stare at the screen all day long. Would you agree? And it's not good for our eyes to have that bright white and that dark black. It's really hard on your eyes. Proven fact. <laughs> so this is going to be a little more soothing, a little easier for your eyes to deal with if you're staring at the screen all day long. And uh, you can put it back if you don't like it. And I know that some of you are rebels and you're going to put it back without even trying it. But I'm going to suggest strongly to you that you give it a try. But let me show you how to put it back just in case. All right, there's a couple different ways. One is you can go into the color theme command and you can set that to one and that'll put it back. Or if you prefer dialog boxes, you could go into options and you can go to display and there you'll see two different color schemes, not themes here in this case, a dark one and a light one. So I can put it back and then nobody's upset. That's for you guys who are rebels, okay? All right, now, but I am gonna be progressive and I'm gonna keep it with the dark theme. Are you with me? All right, just so you know, you can put it back though. A couple of other things that I really love about AutoCAD 2015 is this line smoothing. Now, you and I both know if there's a diagonal line in AutoCAD, if it's just a little off of the, the orthogonal, it's jagged, am I right? It's kind of like shows up jagged. Or sometimes when you zoom in on circles and arts, they show up jagged. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You will see if I come down here to the status bar, which is also gray, and I right click and I go into the graphics performance dialog box, there is an option for a smooth line display. Let's turn that off. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Now take a look at those lines. Ugh, they look all jagged. I don't like that. I love the new smooth line display inside of AutoCAD 2015. So let's go put that back. I haven't noticed any degradation in performance, but if for some reason you do, you can turn it off. That's why the option is there. I actually don't know anybody who's turned it off. Um, and then just one more thing while I'm here, we'll keep these videos nice and short. If you've ever worked with complex line types, you know that as you're editing them or as you're creating them, they don't display until you're finished doing the operation. But you'll see once again, because of the new improved graphics performance, that I can actually see that complex line type as I edit it, as I move it, the way it's going to end up in real life, which is nice. All right, so those are just a couple of little features. The most obvious ones you're gonna notice when you load AutoCAD 2015. Um, I'll come back later for some more videos.